Hello and hello everybody. It's C Porter. I'm back again with new finds and a new machine. This is Latest Finds. I don't know what the heck happened to this Edison. What's that? Yeah, no, I'm gonna try, hopefully try all of these. I never thought I'd see one of these in the per in person before. A lathe. Oh, that's not a lathe. That's no, actually not. um early fifties. Um early just home hi fi. You could buy um motors and turntables and I don't know what in the heck happened to this Edison here, but this is not the original reproducer at all, and it probably never will be. There used to be a machine right there, but I took that, so that isn't mine, that is now my second machine. Victor BVIV. Yeah. Took a whole bunch of this stuff. Awesome. Now, what pray tell do you have in front of you here? Well, this is a 1919 BVBI. I, um, in the other videos you've seen up to this point, or otherwise, depending on how I edit it, um, I probably said it's a BVIV, but that's just a mistake of the tongue. This is a, you know, it's a BVVI. 1919, I got it for about 80 bucks. Uh, pretty good considering how good of a condition it is in, um, physically, but as for playing, it is not in the best. As I'll show you here, it, it chugs like incredibly loud. There it is. Yeah, it's um from when I did play it, it played pretty well. And this is definitely going to be a new machine that's going to be featured on here. As far as I can tell, the um. Uh, the number two reproducer on here, yeah, I think that's number two. Yeah, the number two reproducer that's on here, it's um, it's in pretty much perfect working order, and the uh, the tone arm itself goes pretty smoothly. As for the brake, as opposed to the Graffinola, um, it actually works pretty well. Same thing with the speed adjustment too, but I'm going to have this one serviced soon professionally. I've I've given up at this point on doing any actual phonograph repair myself. I don't think I'm ready to just get into that field yet of uh, self-sufficiency with it. I'll probably send stuff off to uh, Wyatt Marcus for that, but I found a guy locally that will be able to do it much um, without me having to ship stuff off to him. So, so that's so that's that then. 
So now let's move on to the actual finds I got from this place. I currently can't remember the name of the collector who had all this stuff, but I'll put it up here on screen, if not in the description, if I don't know it by the time this video comes out. But he was a local guy to me, and he had about 40,000 78s by the time that he uh, passed on to another life. Kept to himself, but uh, was he was a guy who did this stuff over ham radios and sent out messages throughout the 70s and the 80s saying to the world, I collect 78s, please send me your 78s, and that's how he got the majority of his stuff. He was also, as you saw, he was incredibly phonographic, so he, uh, he had a bunch of machines there, as well as radios. He had stuff that I never thought I'd ever have the opportunity to see in my life before, but um, I did, including 19, I believe 1929 RCA radio, uh, Edison A100, I think, uh, several several other Brunswick models, definitely, definitely a fair bit of Columbia stuff. I, I saw Brunswick Altona there, I saw companies that I've not heard of before as well. Moving on from there, here's the actual records themselves. I've sleeved up a couple of them. I haven't seen the actual uh, dates or looked them up discographically yet, but it's stuff that I knew that I would be able to play on here. Um, and this is pretty good condition stuff too, like this is Art Hitman and the orchestra. If a wish can make it so, and let's see. Whispering. A lot of this stuff is pretty good quality stuff as well. Um, Roy Evans, I believe he's country, if not somewhere, he's, he's somewhere that's, uh, that's decent to find his stuff. The New St. Louis Blues and My Old Lady Blues. Yeah, most of the stuff was separated up in dividers like this. Well, this may have something to do with the reason why he died so young. Well, died in the 70s. Ethel Waters, get off off your knees. Do what you did last night. My Sin by Charles W. Hamp. And hi ho everybody, hi ho. Yep, this is the one that's the reason why I got that one. And yes, yes, this is what you're seeing. You are seeing it correctly. It's a Paramount Country series, not not uh, not blues and race, but it is country, and it, it does go for a hefty penny. Not quite like a hundred dollars or anything like that. Davis and Nelson, about about B minus quality or, or possibly somewhere around like a B plus plus. Um, it plays decently enough. Frankie Marvin and the guitar, riding the elevated railroad and the Big Rock Candy Mountain. A lot of this stuff is just a lot of uh, Beaver Tunnel. The Roe Brothers and Moral. And two acetate recordings by this person. I have yet to hear them myself yet. But I imagine like most acetates, they will be something worth hearing, especially by a collector of this magnitude. You should have seen, I wish I would have uh, recorded all of the different ways he organized things by label and by otherwise. He definitely had a fair amount of really good shit. Well, I'm 10 years old, so I imagine this one will not be the best. But it'll still be wholesome to some of you. Yep, Clara Smith and Fletcher Henderson. I definitely wanted to take this one. I found this one last second, but um, I found this, like I got this one last second, just in my very last um, look around. I didn't even know who it is, but Herzer Concert Orchestra. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Album Leaf and Tarantel. Well, I'll know by the time the upload comes around. This is the record that came on the Fano I just got. Lyman's Californians and California Ambassador Orchestra. 
Um, I really like this flip. I really like this flip side a lot. A Victor Grand Prize, so automatically good. The three trees at the single cider. Jesse Crawford, because why not? I like organ music. A Columbia variant that I've never seen before in person or online. I met, well, it's a cornet solo, so of course it's going to be something good here. I'm not sure if this is something um, able to be seen in the United States or not. Oh, it has writing on it. I didn't see this. Huh. Well, I can't read cursive so well. Well, with these uh, about 15 records here, this will definitely be good, and I'm sure um, I'm sure this will be well, hypeful for some of you guys. Don't worry, I'll be posting all of these in due time. Um, don't worry, as well as for the other stuff that I uh, just got from the previous update. Now that that uh, Floyd Collins video is out of the way, I'm going to be getting back to that now. I don't think that many will be sticking around from that. Well, this has been C. Porter with Latest Finds, probably my best episode yet. And, yeah, I'll see you guys around.